Okay, uh, I think they're all young ladies. Yep, all these young ladies, they're a little bit shy. And I was telling them the story. Actually, they're not that shy. I see they're not shy. Oh, I thought they were shy. They're not shy. Oh, oh, they're not shy. Very good, very good. Welcome to YouTube. Maybe this one's shy. <laughs> oh, maybe this one is shy. Very good, very good. Okay, hey, just in case you can't make it to revival service, we're gonna have a little message right now. My question is, one day, one day will your soul be going to heaven? Who knows that they're going to heaven? Raise your hand. Okay, you, you know that you're going to heaven? Yeah, of course. Why should God let you into heaven? Because I am his child. Oh, that's a very good answer. So she said that she's going to heaven because she is his child. Okay, how did you become his child? Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, uh -huh. I become his child because uh, I serve him like that uh, and uh, I'm faithful to him. Uh, why should God let you into heaven? That's the question. Ah, okay, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, who else said they're going to heaven? <laughs> who thinks they're going to heaven? No one here thinks they're going to heaven? How about you? Are you going to heaven? Why should God let you into heaven? Uh, because I think I'm a believer. You're a believer? Yeah. And also what does that mean you're a believer? Uh, Muslims are believers too. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you believe in? I believe in him. Okay, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I don't want to embarrass you. Listen, listen. Um, what you said was a perfect answer. You're a child of God. And you become a child of God by placing your faith and trust in the shed blood of Christ to pay for your sins. You have to repent of your sins, believe the gospel, which is right here in the shirt. For God, I declare unto you the gospel by which you're saved, that Christ died for our sins. He was buried and he rose again the third day. I'm glad you're listening too. Um, so you have to place your faith in Christ, just like you're sitting on that bench. You trust that bench is going to hold you up in the same way. Trust that Jesus blood is going to pay for your sins. Okay. It, listen, it's all written in the paper. The first step to salvation is God has to quicken your heart, but you know how he does that? When you read this. And you see, you will see with your own eyes. Then God, I'm very sure that God is going to quicken some of you's hearts. I'm very sure. In fact, I'm even going to pray right now. Let's go. Dear Lord, I just lift you up and I praise and exalt you. I thank you that I could come here to the Philippines to share the gospel with all these people. Lord, you know how most people here have a great respect for the word and for you, God. But you also know that there's some things that the Catholic Church teaches that are wrong. And Lord, I just pray for all these young ladies. I pray that you will quicken their heart and that they will repent of their sins and believe the gospel and be saved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.